In order to remove the carpet, you have to first remove the front seat and the center console. I have videos on both and I'll link them in the description. Alright, so there's a couple pieces down here that are in the way of taking out the carpet. So we're going to take care of those right now. One of them is the footrest right here. And uh, the top uh, middle bump is a clip and so is the bottom. And that's how you get this one out. And it doesn't come out, it's attached to the carpet, but now we'll be able to pull out the carpet when we're ready because these are actually attached to the frame. And then another one is this one right here. This big uh, bump right here comes right out. You kind of just got to pry it. So it comes out and then you have to unscrew this little uh, pa uh, plastic clip right here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Take that back, you don't have to unscrew it, you just pull it. I thought you had to unscrew it, but it's right there. Alright, so the fuel door lever is right here and it's also holding the carpet in place, so we're going to have to remove it. So this, this little uh, trap door right here, there's a little notch for, a cl for a, the clip, so you just grab yourself a small flathead and stick it in there and that should come right out. And now you got yourself a... Uh, Phillips screw. Pull that in place. Oh, there we go. There we go. A little tricky, but I'm going to go ahead and put the screw back in there so that uh, I don't lose it. The next step is taking out the rear seat. Um, it's pretty easy. There's clips right here in the middle. You have to kind of reach underneath right here. The clip goes right right in there. So when you stick your hand in underneath the seat to remove it, all you're doing is either going this way, underneath like that, pulling it out or over, whatever is more comfortable. Like that. Once you do that, then you can pop the seat up. So I tried every which way that I could possibly think of to take this off and it just did not work. I did not succeed. I have no idea how to take them off. I didn't want to force them too much because I didn't know, I didn't want to break them. This is the little latch where the rear seat attaches to. There's two, one on each side. Um, so the workaround is just to remove the carpet out from underneath it. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and remove this black clip off. I don't know if these things are removable, to be honest. I have no idea. Um, so, there, you just take that off. And then the carpet underneath is tightly on there, but it can come off. So, you just got, you have to wiggle it. I don't want to ruin the carpet. There we go. I have no idea if you could take that off or not, but there you go. That's that's the way I did it. All right, so it's time to take the trim pieces off. I'm going to start with this one. All you got to do is pull it up, and it comes right off. Then you can take that one off. Do the same thing, kind of pull it up. Those two are off, this one can come off. Ow. Alright, so we've done all this work. I've uh, got the seats off, I've got the all of the, all of the clips and all of the panel trimmings off, and everywhere that I could see that uh, 
the carpet was attached to the chassis that's been taken off so now we're ready to actually remove the carpet so we've come this far so let's get it done carefully take the carpet off the edges and pay close attention to the cables that service the center console and the front seats although I did it alone it's probably easier doing this part with help Thanks a lot for watching. If this was useful to you, support the channel by liking the video and subscribe to see my future content. Take care.